I don't feel that great, and it's my day off. But HBO decided to hit us with a lot of news, so let's talk about it. <music> Greetings, Comic Universe. It is Brian, and I am back for another nerdy newsies. Like my pre-intro said, HBO made a lot of announcements in regards to HBO Max. We need to talk about that. But before I do, quick little things. Two trailers came out from Netflix in the last week that I feel like we should talk about. Uh, one of them being the little thing that you may have heard of. The Witcher? Yes, they finally released a trailer for The Witcher, and... Oh, it looks good. I don't want to say anything definite, because I don't want to jinx it. Knock on wood. But, oh, I've never played the video games. Yes, I know. Shocker. But, I'm still very excited. I do love the mythos of the world. And Henry Cavill proving that he can be a bad A. And more so proving my thought that he should have been Batman, not Superman. But that's a discussion for another day. The effects look good. The choreography looks awesome. The costuming and the sets look good. I can't wait to see where we go from here. We also got a trailer for The Dragon Prince for anyone who's interested. I loved season one. I liked season two. But season three looks to be ramping it up. I mean, oh my god. Oh my god. Though, kind of, sort of, maybe spoils a little something, possibly. So if you don't want any spoilers, I would suggest staying away. And waiting until November 22nd before we get to DC and subsequently subsequently their parent company Warner Brothers and their big news that came out this week. Let's talk about two tidbits from their competitor, Marvel. First of all, Into the Spider-Verse 2 has an official date. April 8th, I want to say, 2022. Whew, I am excited. I hate to say this, but I only recently saw Into the Spider-Verse. I know, and I call myself a Spider-Man fan, but I freaking loved it. Loved it a lot. Cannot wait for the sequel. The other news is that another sequel was announced. Like, it had been rumored, and people were thought, okay, it's probably a done deal, but we aren't hearing any word about it, so is it really going to happen? And now it was officially announced that, yes, it is going to happen. Ant-Man 3. Yes! I cannot wait to see what the third in the trilogy is. See what Paul Rudd, Peyton Reed, and Evangeline Lilly have for us in this third installment, which is definitely most likely going to include Endgame spoiler. Now, um, D and D, the showrunners for Game of Thrones, part of the reason why they rushed the last season was because they were so eager to get to their new toy their star wars trilogy well news came in this week that they are no longer going through with that lucas films has decided and subsequent disney has decided to not move forward with the trilogy they didn't really say what, what was going on but it makes me kind of glad considering how bad the last season was also, news came out later that apparently their trilogy, which was rumored to be about Knights of the Old Republic, was indeed going to be about the Old Republic, but 
was gonna be about the origins of the Jedi Order and Jedis in general, and was gonna star in a world without Jedi? Huh? Interesting, maybe? But also, oh boy, we haven't had the best of luck with prequels in this world. Let's then now jump on to, speaking of D&D, talking about Game of Thrones. It was announced, well first it was announced, they will no longer be going through with the Naomi Watts Game of Thrones prequel, which would have explored the origins of the Night Walker. Did I just say Night Walker? White Walkers and Night King. Several other things within the world that would have explored their origins. They decided not to go through with that. But, however, they did decide to go ahead with the Targaryen prequel. Which, that was the first of a buttload of new things announced by HBO Max. They decided to give us everything. And as a big Game of Thrones fan, I am excited to see where they go with the Targaryen show, who they get, and it'll be interesting to see this. It was also announced that this show, along with all the others, will be on a week-to-week -week basis, which I like and dislike at the same time. I like because it, it means that you don't have to binge them to keep up with them, but also it means that there's less likely chance that I'll be able to review them. Maybe do season recaps here. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Then they made their DC announcements. Oh, boy. They announced... Uh... Probably the weirdest one. Uh, DC Superhero High with Elizabeth Banks involved. And I believe she's going to be in it. I know she's at least producing. I don't know if they said it's live action or not, but it seems like live action. And it's going to be retelling the story of the DC heroes that we know and love but have them be in a high school pre-becoming the heroes that we know them to be? Interesting. It's weird and cool, so you know it's up my alley. It kind of sounds like if you guys ever heard of that failed Batman animated show called Gotham High, where it told Bruce and his rogues in high school. Yes, that's a thing. Go look it up. It sounds like that, but on steroids. Um, then they also announced that they're doing Strange Adventures. A TV show that will be an anthology that tells the different stories of different heroes of the world. So we will get to see live action, a lot of heroes. And I know I am happy because I want to see some of my obscure babies get into live action, maybe even really obscure like Anna Fortune and Red Beetle. Yes, there's a Red Beetle as well as Blue Beetle. She's awesome. Go look her up. Power Girl, maybe. Then, lastly, their big announcement. They are doing a Green Lantern TV show. Wow. That is going to be interesting. I can't wait to see where we go from here. There are many different places that we could go from here. And it will be really cool and interesting to see where we go. Which lantern are they going to start with? I think after that horrible TV show, which I do not blame Ryan Reynolds or anyone involved, maybe the director, they could do Hal and get live action Hal some justice. Maybe even loosely adapt the animated show so you actually have structure and a main cast. But then they could also do John, Kyle. 
I guess maybe Guy. Maybe do a buddy cop with Simon and Jessica. They could also do Alan, which I heard that CBR was pushing for, which I think with the fact that he's going to be in Stargirl, that is not a really good chance, but you never know. Whatever goes, whichever lantern they decide to follow, I'm excited. I'd go grab my uh, blue lantern ring to show you my enthusiasm, but I don't feel like it. Lastly, I feel like a dunce for forgetting. It wouldn't be a nerdy newsies without talking about Crisis. And this is tangentially Crisis related. New CW TV show announced. Superman and Lois. This will be about Clark and Lois as they are trying to raise their son John while also being working parents, which for him, you know what working also means, which will be really cool. I'm really excited for this. I know some people said that it means that Supergirl's Doom, which I don't think it is. I am excited for this. Hopefully they can bring in characters of the Superman universe that fans have been wanting, which have yet to show up, like Perry White, Steel, and Lana Lang. I am sad to see that Lex is going to have to move over from Supergirl, but maybe if John Cryer is willing, he can have a bigger role. Also, maybe we could get Brainiac Prime, like Brainiac himself, the real villain Brainiac. Mongrel. And Lobo. And maybe the new gods. The possibilities are endless. I am excited. It sounds kind of like it'll be Black Lightning meets Supergirl. I'm excited. I love the actress who plays Superman and Lois. I'm excited. Did I say I'm excited? Because <laughs> I am. Thank you guys for watching. Let us know what you think about this new stuff. Are you excited? Was there any big thing that I missed? Is there anything that you're worried about? Let us know in the comments down below. Hope to see you again in the universe. Till next time, and beyond.